Good morning everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This morning I'm out for another sunrise and I've just realized I've made a huge error. I brought my square filters and I've just gone to fit one to the panorama camera and I don't have my filter holder here, which is a bit of an issue. I might just try and hold the filter in front of the lens or something. But anyway, I'm doing something a little bit different because there's absolutely not gonna be any interest in my sky this morning here out at Barney View. So I'm gonna shoot black and white. I don't usually shoot black and white, but for something different, I think it might be fun. So I've got a roll of Ilford Delta 100 loaded into the camera, and I've put an orange filter on the lens to get a bit of contrast and darken the sky a little bit. And I did a meter reading, and it only seems to be one stop difference. So then I was gonna put my three stop grad ND in front just to balance the exposure for the foreground and the sky. I'm at a location that we've been to before a couple of times. This is my rough composition, that lovely little pond with Mount Barney, Mount Ernest. I don't think we'll see Mount Lindsay at all. You can't in this view, but I do like it. But because there's no sky interest, I thought I'd grab a quick one here on black and white because I've not shot it black and white before. So I've got a two to three stop difference. I might try and hold my filter. Okay, so I'm going to go two seconds, F22, and I'm going to try and hold this filter in front of my lens. See if that works. Okay, so I've set up my next composition. Looking out into that field, I'm just going to meter. So I'm just gonna set my ASA on my light meter to 50 because that's one stop for that filter. I'm gonna take two readings here, one from the grass, maybe three. One from the grass, that's two seconds at F22. One for the tree, which is actually about the same. If I take one up in the sky, yeah, I'm definitely gonna need that grad filter. So I'm gonna to have to do my trick again of holding that grad filter in front of the lens. You can go two seconds at F22 with that grad filter and the orange filter. Let's go on to shot number two. And there we go, second frame of the day. So now what I'm gonna do is jump back in the car and head back down this way along Barney View Road and just go for a bit of a drive around. Might find some nice cows or something like that. And just see if I can grab a couple more nice morning shots. Thank you. 
got my photo of cows. Got a bunch of cows with a fig tree just near their water trough. Unfortunately, there is a power line in the background. I can't do much about that. I'm gonna take this photo now, F45, one second, Ilford Delta 100 with some awesome cows. Perfect. Well, it's only just about to turn 6.30 a.m. So about an hour and 20 minutes after sunrise. And I found my fourth and final, at least on this roll of film, composition. I've still got the orange filter on it. I'm shooting that Ilford Delta 100. I'm just looking out at this tiny little outhouse style building with uh, Mount Barney in the background. So I'm looking at half a second at f32. I've just metered, so let's get my exposure set. f32 and half a second. I'm going to use hyperfocal focusing again. That'll give me everything from three meters to infinity and acceptably sharp focus, which is gonna be basically everything in my frame. I'm lucky I've got some cows off to the side, the little outhouse, Mount Barney, and then Mount Ernest. Here we go, shutter cocked, fourth and final frame. This is actually my first time shooting Ilford Delta 100 anyway. I've been really keen to try it out. There we go. Well, that's this roll of film done. I'm gonna jump back in the car and just continue driving. I've got no promises of taking any more photos. We'll just see how we go. I didn't end up taking any more photos on that morning, although I did drive around to look for compositions. I was quite happy though, shooting only the four shots for the morning. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave any comments or questions that you may have. I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel as well. I can't wait to see you again next time.